The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. Let me just give a quick update. We've got quarters waiting. We've got the Dow down 122 at 32,682 on this Thursday, the uh, 12th of uh, October. And that 200 period moving average I'd mentioned for the last couple of days, right there, 32,858. Uh, we went right to 32,863 today, and now we're pulling back down 124. But this is a little digestive phase. The SP, I'll just run this really quickly. SP down just a little down seven at 4370. The QQQ, which is the NDX 100, up. A dollar twenty-six acting really well because of the semiconductors. Uh, let me go to gold, and then we'll go. Uh, gold is uh, up to, and the dollar is up as well. Dollar is up forty-four ticks at one hundred and six point sixteen. I'll talk about that when we return because we're going straight to Garo in California. Hi, Garo. How are you? I'm very good. How about you, sir? I'm good, thank you. What would you like to look at today? Uh, back to square number one. <laughs> okay, square. Back, the square. Back to it, SQ, yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. the square and, uh, peg in a round hole. To, yeah. Have, yeah, yes, sir. Um, I have to step back a little bit. One step back. Uh, on Monday, uh, on Monday, uh, October the ninth, I called you. I was the first caller. Yes. And uh, uh, on, uh, and and I ask you on the daily chart on a daily chart uh, the uh, it, it, it had on a daily chart we had only two dots at the bottom correct of this yeah and uh, it was around forty three dollars and I was short thousand shares and uh, I said that uh, I'm going to keep that for the, the twenty to thirty minutes I always keep twenty thirty minutes. And whatever I can, I eat whatever I catch, you know, uh, I, I'm not greedy and so on. Right. I said that I'm going to stay not more than 20 minutes and so forth. And I said that, uh, what is your idea? You think that this is going to go up from here or is going to roll down? And uh, you, you said this is going to roll down, go back to $39. And uh, I said, thank you and so forth. Um, it went up all the way and it broke that. Now it's above that 21 day. Simple moving average. Yes. Uh, now, now, what is your idea? You think this is going to hover here until that 50 day simple moving average descends so that 50 day will intercept with the candle and the candle will go above 50 day, or, or this is going to be the end of it and it is going to roll down, go down, and go to 39 and open new low? What is your idea? I know you cannot do miracles. I know that, right. Mr. Bezos. So, Dick Gow, but, but I, just, I, I want uh, your idea. That's all. Okay. I want you to just go back because if you remember what I said is at that particular point that it looked to me like there could be a little bit of a bounce, and that's what you had to be careful of. So it did actually yes. pull back, but then it bounced. And then what happened is the following session it added another gain. So this square is looking very much like a lot of these stocks that were actually decimated over the last uh, couple of years. I'd include that. I'd put Shopify. Just There are a lot of them in the same category. But what is really interesting about Square, it's in the tech sector that has a relationship to some finance. In this case, it's the, the block trading. That's why it's called block now. And it's had a bit of a bounce. And it's gone from that 40, uh, was that 39 or 40, 40.77 low on the 5th. And yesterday it hit a high of 47.54, uh, pulling back today. Yeah. So the th one of the things that I looked at is the nine period moving average was still very weak. And I know you're talking about 20, 30 minutes, but I'm just looking at the daily chart because that's going to, the larger tide is the one that I like to follow. And the larger tide in the weekly chart says, yes, there were two doji candles before last week, which is a nice green candle, but uh, this week, which is a nice green candle. 
but none of the technicals have improved. So that's the reason why I'm saying that there's a good chance that Squid does a retest of that whole 41 to 40, maybe 39 level. But just on a very short term, the you're looking at it on a 15 minute, 30 minute, you're looking at a very short term time frame. But the weekly chart, sorry, the daily chart has seen an improvement. Not enough for me to say that the 9 period moving has crossed positive or the MACD is quite good. Stochastic has ready to 64%. So um, you are short from this morning and you're still short or you're taking a profit? No, no, I'm, I'm not. At this point, uh, the, the, the square is my idea. It's not long, it's not short. It is, okay. in a, it is in a no man's land. I mean, I'm not going to touch square until it shows myself that is it going to stay here, go higher, or is it going to go below that 21 day? If it goes below 21 day, yeah, I'm going to short it. But okay. if it stays so, there, uh, you're right. It, it doesn't show me no strength for right. to go long. So I, I'm just watching it. I'm just watching Okay, it. so on a very short term, there's just enough energy for to try to get to fill, well, that gap, let's see, the, the gap low was, what's happened to my mouse? There it is. Uh, the gap low was 47.52, and yesterday uh -huh. it hit 47.54. So it right, got right. into the gap. So that gap is now a little bit like a magnet, and that big ugly candle, and I wouldn't be surprised over the next three, what we say today, so by Monday or Tuesday, we could even see a test of the 4820 area because it's in an area that the tech sector is starting to find some buyers and that's really important so i would not be looking at this as a short as a long it's it needs a lot of work before i feel comfortable saying that this is going to go back to say the 50s and it's at 4677 mm -hmm. right now so yeah. um, i agree with you so but you know what's interesting is that you've had Four dots, that's the SAR, folks, this is called the uh, uh, the parabolic SAR. And that was a very good clue. It actually did it on the day after the low was made at 40.77. Yes. So in that regard, that also is showing that just a very short term, there is still a little upside momentum. So that's really what I want to impart to you. That as a stock looking at it monthly and weekly, ooh, it needs a lot of work. But on a daily basis, yeah. I can see it. This is a very oversold condition, so it's, it's bouncing. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. That, yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, that, that's, that's, that the dots on the, that sharp parabolic, uh, Mr. Basil, to me, it does miracles. Believe me, it, this it is. is the only thing I can count on it very, very much. Uh, whatever my money I made in stock market is because of that uh, dots on the sharp on a daily sharp parabolic. It tells me that the momentum is changing or changed, even if it's temporary. And I follow those dots so much. But so, I do thank you very much for your time, sir. Yes, sir. I just, I, I, I just I wanted, to, yeah. I just wanted to say because a lot of a lot of people are listening, and a lot of people have followed you for years and years, like because you've always been following the SAR, and you've always done very nice short term trades. I, I consider that if you do something very well over and over and over, you get to know your little package. You know exactly what you're looking for. That's exactly what you do. Congratulations. I like that very much. Thank you for Thank calling. You Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Uh, folks, we're now down 112 in the Dow. SMB is only down three. There's a little diverge, and the queues are, are rallying. I'll talk about that when we return. Basil Chapman, Tiger Team. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So I just wanted to show you, this is at, uh, it was at 620, this, 610, 620 this morning, the, the one minute chart made a peak D in the E-mini. <coughs> Sneeze. And then it made a cup formation with a much lower right, uh, right shoulder over there. Pulled back, pulled back to the 200 period moving average. Uh, made a little pop to the upside, made an arch formation, and then started a peak A, then a little mini A, then a B, C, D, and went to an E at about 43, uh, 44.31. And then it made this cup formation, touched the 200 period moving average, the magnet of the 200 period moving average, and then bounced one more time, but the technicals, look how weak they were. And then you got the doji candle, and then what happened? You had the news at 8.30, comes zipping down, tries to rally, retest the 200 period moving average, because that's your magnet line, and then it gets repelled, smash, it goes to the downside, drops sharply to the 4409 area, 4408 area, and then what does it do? It bounces and makes an arch formation but you can see the MACD popped up and then it started to fade. The stochastic went way over 20, 80%. And then it plunged. The unbalanced volume gave you a lovely right there on that candle. It gave you a nice reversal pattern. And then it continued down. Then you got your one to one expansion of the, uh, the, the plumb line that I chose right here. It went almost to it, rallied, and then it broke down a little later. And then what happened? It continued down, down, down. So this has been in a sell mode almost all morning since uh, since that six o'clock time frame, even with that bounce at eight o'clock. And then what does it do? I'm going to skip from the one. It's like going from the one minute, uh, the the daily chart to the monthly chart. And I'm going from the daily to the uh, 
to the, well before I do that to the um, ten minute chart. That'll be the monthly. Well, ten minute chart is this, the third time frame. We've got the one minute here. You got the five minute, which made a peak e at eight eight o'clock at about forty four, uh, just under forty four thirty. And then it pulled back and it went under the quickly under the 200 period moving average, made an arch formation, and retested, and then broke down. But look at this. I, th I This is so fascinating. I talk about this all the time, how you just have to put some indicators on your chart. These are technical tools. They're only tools. Do you need your hammer when you actually need a chisel? Do you need your chisel when you need a screwdriver? No, you need what you need when you need it. And you just have it sitting there ready to grab. So here it is, the 200 period moving average. Let me squash this chart. Let me condense it so that you can see how important this 200 period moving average has been. Look at this. You can go all the way back to, or all the, when I say all the way back, I mean all the way back. Look at this. That whole cluster formation, that peak D. Remember the chapter made methodology D or E? That's where you've got to really prepare for, uh, for some kind of change in trend. We did the one to one to the upside, and that was at that peak D. At, 6.50 on the 6th of, that was on Friday, the 6th of uh, October. Then it pulled back sharply, did a one-to-one -one expansion. And then what happens is it breaks to the upside. It goes peak A, B, C, D, E, stalls right there at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then pulls back. Look at this, 200 period moving average. It went under it. That became a propellant for just for a moment. And then it became a, a sorry, a repellent. And then it became a propellant. And then it became a magnet, and it was a magnet. It was rising slightly, and it became a magnet from the gap down at 6.10 in the morning on the 6th, on the 8th. And no matter what happened, so I, uh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, Technical Friday. Maybe I'll, I'll just put this long, narrow rectangle. I'll have a whole session on talking about this, if I remember. What happens? Because overnight, between 4 o'clock, close in the market and five o'clock close in the uh, futures, you can go all the way through to the next day, sometimes over the weekend, and you stay within a 20 point ra range. And look at this, how the 200 period moving average was a magnet. And then it became a propellant and you did that, ex that, that big move up to the peak D right there. And that's the one on the, uh, on the ninth at 3.10 in the afternoon. And then look what happened. You went into the sideways consolidation, 20-point consolidation. And then you broke to the upside, and you went all the way to this peak G. Forget about the 200-period moving average. You didn't need it until keeps going, keeps going, keep following that orange line. And then all of a sudden, at 8 o'clock, uh, 11.20, at 11.20 on the 11th, what are we today? We're on the 12th. That was yesterday. Um, it hit the 200 period moving average. Oh, that's right. And then came down and then had that really good turnaround. The turnaround was so good that the S&P E-mini went to higher highs, went to peak D and then a very small peak A, B, C1, C2, pulls back, goes to another A, B, C, D, E, F, pulls back, goes to peak A, B, C, D, Pulls back, the 9 period moving average holds, and it goes to peak E, and that was it. At 8 o'clock, comes tumbling down, so 8.30. So this is very interesting because now the 200 period moving average of 44.09 is the magnet line for any rebound today. That's going to be key, and how it handles that and how it's able to move above it, if it can, that's going to be important. All right, I want you to get that just to show just one technical tool. I did have the left side, right side price time match going to uh, 11 o'clock this morning, uh, going to the low of this cluster formation right here, and that was a 43.94. Well, we went a little bit under it. We went to 43.93.25, uh, 43, and now we bounce. So, okay, I, I just wanted to show you that I just because everything I'm talking about now for the questions that I have related or related to uh, the techniques that I've discussed when I'm showing those particular charts. So Square is down 13 cents at 46.56 to, to follow up on uh, Garo's comments. Yeah, 
as we were looking at the other day, I, I'd said to him, my, my bigger target is go, retesting the 41 to 39 area. But on a very short-term basis, um, it, the gap up three days ago said that there was a chance that you could hit the 14-period moving average when you went above it. But look, that nine-period moving average, it's going to be so important because does it deflect lower as it's done every other time or does it turn green? And that's kind of the way I'm looking at many of these things. So now let's just go through these. I'll go, look, here's the Dow. Oh, I wrote down notes. I always forget to look at the notes. Should I look at the notes or the questions that came in? Um, all right, let's just do this. So this are, we, we are long, a little, uh, kind of aggressively long. We've taken some profits, but we're aggressively long. We've got a, a key short from the, the exact high, August 1st in the Dow. Um, still holding that because I think we still have to do some retesting before we can get a really decent rally. I mean, one one with the capability of um, moving for the weekly chart to the 34,100, 34,200 level uh, in the weekly chart. So in the meantime, we're pulling back a little bit. We're down 99, down 100 points. <coughs> and... Holding the 14 period moving average, but that 9 period moving average isn't even close to crossing positive. There's a lot of work that has to be done. I do see buying coming in. I even see buying coming in today to help a little bit. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down uh, 96, SP's down a dollar 43. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
I will. So I, I've got some questions that have come in, but I'd like to do this because to me it is absolutely imperative that you get the tide. And the tide in the semiconductors are from the 167.17 all-time high on the 31st of July. Look at what you can see. Uh, so we're still short um, from about just under two points off the all-time high. Um, look at this beautiful one-to-one. -one. This is expansion that uh, for the Chapman wave, this is an inverted falling exclamation. I, I don't want to go into it. I showed it yesterday. No, I'll, I'll just show the pattern if I can find it quickly. Yes, there it is. So that's this where you've got instead of instead of the rising and then you make this lower highs and much lower lows, rising lower highs and much lower lows, pattern with a breakout to the upside, this is upside down. You come down and then you expand, you make much higher highs and higher lows, and suddenly the chart forms an arch formation at a peak A or a B, even a C or a D, but it makes an arch formation, then comes back and then takes out that uh, right, the lower rising trend line support. And you can go one to one to the downside. Well, lo and behold, we went up, we did that, and we took this out, and we went more than one to one. We went, did this huge expansion like the Tiger, the TFNN crew, a one to one lightning bolt pattern where it goes from A to B and then C to D. That's got nothing to do with Chapman Wave notational uh, script. This went to peak ABC and then failed and then did an exact blue line down. And now it's done almost an exact green line up. And where is it stopping? It's stopping at the inside track repellent zone. Do I keep? Yeah, I'm going to make this a nice uh, educational chart. So that becomes green. <clears throat> that becomes pink. Uh, there we go. Pink. <clears throat> I like to use pink because it distinguishes between the red, the candles, and the pink is something different. <clears throat> and now we're in the inside track, repellent zone, Chapman Wave inside. This turns out to be almost an exact, it's maybe a few degrees off, of the channel line down. So are we going to reverse now and then start a trip to the downside, maybe get to a D over the next couple of days? It's a little big question. But you remember we were talking about the dollar, and I so I'm mixing up. The, I guess this is the technical Friday. Um, this is an leg C. The MACD is good. The stochastic's flat at 92%. That is fabulous action. It's up a dollar 85, up 1.22 percent. The Dow's down 0.34 percent. The S&P is down 0.14 percent. The Q's are up 0.39 uh, percent. Uh, so this is really very nice. And this is that rotational aspect that I'm always talking about. So now if you look at the weekly chart, you've got your A to B equals C to D. It happens to be trough B in the Chapman wave. But look what happened. Here's your inside track, just like I call this inside track repellent zone. If we go nicely above it and two out of three candles close well above the trend line, that becomes a propellant zone, even though we may be going to a D. D's where you, D or E is where you can turn down. But look at this. The weekly chart has shown an improvement. And if you look at the weekly chart of the SMHs, let me show you this. This is, well, I've got the dollar chart. I'll change that in a moment. Look how the dollar deflected up, and we still haven't gone pink. And that's just telling me that the rally in gold, I consider to be important right now. I'm not sure that this is the big rally in gold because I still see strength in the dollar even though we made a very short-term peak E top in the daily chart. So let me show you the SMHs. I want to show you the pattern. This is the daily. Look how strong it is, the 9 over the 14. But look at the weekly chart. If I can find it, there it is. Look at the weekly chart. It deflected up. It didn't even go pink. So that says the SMHs are still. Look at the dollar. I'm just showing you pattern to pattern, right? The dollar is just steady on the upside. Yeah, it could turn down at any moment, but so far, good. So let's just go back in. The reason why I've got short-term trades for my subscribers, we managed to get the lows, but most of it were just at, uh, close to the lows. But the reason why we're treating this as trades and taking little bits off on each big rally is because I think it's going to fade at some point fairly soon. I don't know when because I need to see some other things happening. But as long as the semis, and they were the clue, they made a low on uh, right there on the 27th of 
that's the 27th of July, same day as, and look at this, on the, I should have put the date, on the 3rd of October, wait, 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 did I say uh, July, I meant September, September, and on the 3rd of October, the um, S&P made its low, three days before the Dow, the Dow made it on the 6th, so all of us says extremely oversold condition. Now let me go back to uh, the pattern that we were looking at for the dollar, just to explain why I'm talking about the dollar not yet. On a daily basis, the little doji candle, I mentioned this before, <clears throat> gave me an indication that this could be a deeper pullback in the dollar. But just on the daily basis, because the weekly chart, look at this weekly chart. Um, a doji, uh, this is like an evening, kind of an evening start, it's all a little hammer candle, long hammer candle. Uh, last week, this week it's gone back into the wick. This is the dollar index. Look at the MACD, how good it is. Look at the stochastic 90%. I love 90% uh, uh, and flat, and so far it's flat. And the 9 is way over the 14, and the price is way over the 9. It's going to take a lot. To get, and I, that's why I'm saying that I think there's a process going on whereby it's going to take a little while before the dollar actually does. It doesn't mean to say it's going to even take out that high, even though this is a peak B. It should go to C and D with the technical so strong. I want to go one step at a time. And what I'm saying, you remember the SMH chart that we were looking at that weekly, how it just kept walking the green line there and going higher, and the and the uh, nine period moving average hadn't turned negative. Exactly the same things happened here in the dollar. So I'm not ruling out that the dollar can't pull back. I'm just saying I'm impressed by the fact that this uh, technical tool of last, last resort is telling me that even though the MACD is down, the stochastic sharply lower, the rental strength is low, a little bit of a bounce here. I haven't got the on-balance volume, so let's go to the UUP. And the reason why I'm taking a little time on this is it's really important. Look at the UUP. This is this is very nice. A little doji candle at a peak D in the Chapman wave. Always got to be careful. Now what have you got? You've got this pattern right here. Lower lows. Lower highs. And we've got the potential for a little cup formation. So all I'm saying is I am not yet ready to give up on the... Uh, we should, I should say we're still long the dollar from 2018. <clears throat> I'm not prepared to give up on the dollar. The dollar is holding very nicely. If you look at the weekly chart, it's going to take some really bad news for this dollar to plunge. That's the UUP power shares DB that we're looking at right now. It can happen. I just haven't seen it ready quite at this moment to do quite that. And let's just go back to gold. There's gold. A very nice move from the low uh, at about 1820. Uh, up to today's high of 1898, that's 70 points. I was saying you would have expected with the war, etc., going on, that uh, the, the gold would be up 50, 60. Well, it's actually up 70. It took a little while, but this is a big move up. But look at that 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. That's that's what it has to overcome, and then the dollar will pull back. All right, I've got that out of the way. Now we're going to look at stocks as soon as I return. Dow's down 116, S&P's down 6. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, okay, I think a number of charts. Let me just do this. First of all, I wanted to show you something. As I said, I'm with about education. So CLH, uh, CLH, so was all, I was asked about that, and it's a very interesting, this is a clean harbors, Inc., oil, gas, and lodging uh, services, waste management, environmental services, all sorts of things like that. <clears throat> Let's go to the daily chart. So the daily chart has had this channel to the downside and has hit these levels uh, so consistently, just a beautiful parallel channel to the downside, and this is what I call the channel wave inside track repellent zone don't have to put the propellant zone it hasn't got there yet so if this uh, this symbol can take out so there's the inside track propellant zone and repellent zone this is the repellent zone right <clears throat> if it can hold above that if it can go to the 168 and a half it's at 164 right now if it can just touch 168 and then hold above 166 in this uh, 160, no, it needs to go to 169 and then hold 168 as support and then try to push to 170. That'll be a really significant breakout in the daily chart. And it turns out to be almost the same pattern in the weekly chart. The weekly chart would have to see almost the same thing for it to start to improve. Uh, the technicals in the daily have actually improved a little bit, even though today's down three at 164.38. But look at the monthly chart, and that's what I always say. Try to get your – this is an, in a major up, up, a rising tide. The weekly is in a, a rising tide but having a little digestion for in, – not in digestion, just a digestive phase. And the daily has got indigestion. It's really coming down lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. So this is going to be very important. That This is the move <clears throat> with the technicals improving that that pink nine-period moving average can cross positive. So my, my – um, the question is, what about CLH? And the answer is, not yet. It is beginning to improve, but it's so consistently broken from this inside track repellent zone that I have to have proof that it can go above it and cheat. That I, it can't just go look like well, what are those things that are always uh, one of those cute little creatures that always are standing with their heads like this, they're always looking up, looking up. Uh, anyway, you always see them, and they're all doing the same thing. Um, well, this is what it needs to do. It needs to go up there so that it's got the head holding high. But right now, it's in a, it's in a consolidation phase. So I would not do anything with it 
Let's look at it again uh, in in about uh, three four days. Uh, then it was mentioned I N F Y. Where did I put that? Did I type in the wrong place. I probably did. I N F O. I I have to write down the correct symbol, right? Oh, there it is. Oh, my, look at this. This is Infosystems Technologies. I remember at some point saying, wow, what a nice rally above the 200p moving average. I think that was in August going to September. And then I must have stopped at this PD right here, a little double top at PD in September at 18 point, uh, uh, 18, 20, 1838 and then 1818. Uh, is that right? No, I think they're both the same. 1818 18 and 1818. 18, yeah, exact double top. And then what happens is it pulls back, holds the 200p moving average, breaks under it, thing, uses it as a, pro as, a, as, a, as a propellant peak AB. I didn't put this in because I haven't seen it. And today it's down $1.17 at 16.44. It's down 6.5%. Six, six so this is a big, and, and this is interesting because I made a peak D in the weekly chart. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Was what? Did someone have her? Anyway, you know, if you're in this, uh, I just say be really careful because it's already done that PD both in the daily and the weekly, and it's failed. Um, the way what the way I like to handle anything like this. Thank goodness we haven't had one of these in years and years. We have, but not in years and years and years. In fact, the one that we had is that where we got in and the gap down like this. And fortunately, we were in low enough that we could just get out. There was another one that from our entry point to the bounce of the day, we were able to mitigate what was a big, one of our biggest down moves ever. I think it was 12, 10, 12 percent. That was that was ugly. I did not like that at all. And it was out of the blue. So, yeah. So, Invisus, um, I can't remember if there was a question to it. I'm just saying I would take something off. That's my obligation always. It's just... Keep, you know what you can get right now. You can get $16.43. You don't know what you can get the next few days. Something's wrong. It could just be a one-off, one so at least take something off. Next question was, <clears throat> oh, did I write? Oh, Zoom. Uh, no. Uh, um, what is my wife on right now? Oh, Zoom. All right, she's on Zoom. Um, is this a double bottom? Um, I haven't... Oh my, I haven't updated this for ages. It kind of went off my, uh, uh, okay, I'll do this right now. So here's your lowest obvious low bar. That goes to peak A, but this is underneath it and it's, this is your starting point. Remember, this is your starting point and from the low bar, you've got to count each successively higher bar regardless. So this is also an A, but it turns out that this is a B underneath the previous A. And then this becomes a C, almost at the exact same level, and that becomes a D, and that becomes an E. So this has had your arch formation. So far, it's holding kind of okay in the arch formation. Um, I just think that there must be a lot of competition in this area, in the area of Zoom, Zoom Technologies, is that what it's called, Zoom Video, uh, Zoom Video something or other, uh, Communications. <sighs> I, yeah, I met someone once that said, oh, yeah, a friend of mine, it's his son. He started this company. It just didn't seem like very much at the time, but he was really interested. He thought it had the potential, and here it is. Look at that. That's Zoom. Um, uh, so uh, this is, yeah, I, I, I have trouble with this one. I've thought about it a long time because I think this is the technology, but it's become so pervasive with other, I think Microsoft has something like this. I've used other systems. So I think the competition is really the issue. So that that you spiked to 585 back in November of 2020, and now it's at uh, 64. It's only lost 510 points. I mean, come on, what's the big deal? Anyway, I I would be very hesitant to do anything but to treat it as a trade. Can you treat it as a trade at 64.08? Because it took out both the left side low of three four days ago and the left side low of. Um, <clears throat> The 22nd of June at 63.59. Today's low is 63.33. I'm inclined to say yes as a trade, but in this environment, um, 
it should have had a big move because you would think with people being stuck in their houses now in many places in, in, in you know around the world um, out of fear of whatever is going on, um, the Zoom would become very active again. The chart is not really saying that. The chart says they've got a financial issue. I, I have to look at this chart and say, I think it's a financial issue. They've got everything that they need. Uh, so many organizations that I know of say, hey, we'll go to Zoom. I don't know why they're not making a bundle. So something's wrong. So I, you know what? Hold off. Let's look at it again tomorrow. I want to see where it closes, and I want to see within three days if it's... Eight above 66. All right, let's just see what happens. Uh, next thing we'll look at when I get back is Syntax. Oh, Syntax, what a smash! And look at that new cover. I'll be back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey, I'm going to have to check on my uh, uh, emails because I, I seem to be either getting them late or on one system I'm not getting them. I used to always get them. I, I must check on that. So, but I did have a question about XPENG, EX, -E XPEV, that's Xpen Inc. designs the various manufactured smart EVs from China, and that they had just opened a big facility and they were starting to ship cars. They were just a couple of days ago about to ship cars, or they had, to Israel. Not good timing. 
Um, so, yeah, it's turning down. I'd just be real careful. And as I said, I think just sticking with something like a Tesla and following it up and down is holding really well. It's kind of the benchmark that I'm looking at. Next question was Bank of America. So Bank of America has just made a leg EA, and it could be a peak A. It's actually a very, very uh, ungainly chart in the daily. We just saw the same patterns, almost like Zoom in the, in the weekly chart. So I'm going to suggest that if you are long, and I think the, the person asking the question, Mike's asking the question, well, was it, no, was that Steve asking the question? I'm just going to say, if you start a position here, there's nothing wrong with that because Bank of America sometimes has slow starts and then it starts to make higher highs and higher lows. And that means that the TLT, oh, I never even got to the TLT today, it's got, it looks like TLT looks like Bank of America, all right? So uh, for subscribers, uh, we, we, we got an electronic bank, banking system, because I think it's just more cutting edge. It has a little, and it's done very nicely for us in the very short term. That's when we got it Friday. So I'm just going to say Bank of America, I'm not going to say to you, oh, get out of or anything. I'm going to say if you've got it, hold on. If you want to get in at 26.87, I would have an 80 cent stop. Today's low is 26.61. It's at 28.87. You can even have a 26, 21 stop because it shouldn't it shouldn't pull back that far if it's going to go to a leg B. So that's the way I would look at it. And let's look at it again because it's really important for the financial smooth. Stay tuned for Steve Rose. Check out Note to Call, my daily newsletter, and great programming here. And I will see you tomorrow.